with lessons. Today I'm very excited to share with you a lesson dedicated to my longtime student Joanne. This is my version of the Allman Brothers classic Melissa. Let's get started. Okay so we have a close look at the neck and we're gonna start off learning the intro section. It's gonna sound like this. So what we have here is a chord progression based off of the E major scale. If we travel whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half up our E string, we'll arrive at our major scale. The notes being E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, E flat, E. Okay, so each one of those root notes could become a chord to create different chord progressions. So when we go through this first little sequence, we have the E major chord, the first scale degree of our E major scale, set to chordal form. Next we have an F sharp minor, except we have an open B and open E string, making this a sus4, F sharp minor, okay? Then we have G sharp minor, and then return back to that F sharp minor. So that's gonna be our intro. 
we consider the E major chord. If you don't know already, middle finger is here on the second fret of the A string, third finger beneath that on the D string second fret. And my first finger is there on the first fret of the G string. Most of you probably know that chord already. Just garden variety E major. The F sharp minor, with the open B string and the high E string, my third finger will be here on the fourth fret of the A, my pinky beneath that on the D string, fourth fret D string, okay? And my first finger is here on the second fret of the G. Strumming everything from the A string down to the high E string. And I could have my low E string involved, but I prefer just to block it with my thumb. So we have the F sharp minor with the fourth and an open E string, which is our flat seven. Next, that G sharp minor. Just take this chord up one whole step. And then back again. You have the whole intro. Let's try that real slow. E major. One, two, three, and four. F sharp minor. One, two, and three, and four. Two. The G sharp minor. One, two, three, and four. And back. Just the way you came. Okay, let's try that with the strumming pattern now. Okay, looking at the right hand technique over the verse and intro section, it's gonna sound like this. Got my E major chord ready. Okay, so a pretty simple strumming pattern that we're gonna have for this intro and also for the verses. Basically all we're doing, real slow, down, down, up, down, up, down. Then as the chord change comes in, I'm gonna just throw in just a couple of eighth notes. Down, up, down. Okay, so real slow, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, now that we have the intro chords and strumming pattern down, let's play it one time together. One, two, three, four. E. F sharp. G sharp. One more time. E. F sharp. Okay, so if you have the intro section down, you're ready to move on to the verse, which I'm going to break up into different sections for you. The first section is going to sound like this. Okay, so very similar to our intro section. We're starting off with the E major chord. It's gonna be for one measure for each of these different chord shapes. We move on to that same F sharp minor, the open strings. Bring that up a whole step to the G sharp. And then back. Then we're gonna repeat the E major again. The gypsy flies from coast to, and then right back to the F sharp minor. Co Okay, with the words, it will sound like this. Crossroads seem to come and go, yeah. The gypsy flies from coast to coast. Okay, moving on to the second part of the verse, we're moving down to the four chord. Again, if we go through that E major scale, we're gonna find that the A note is the fourth note in that scale. E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So that's why we call that the four chord. Everything is always in reference to that major scale. Okay, so this next part is going to sound like this. Okay, so the chords need it. A major, 
My middle finger's here on the second fret of the D string, third finger beneath that on the G string second fret, pinky below that. You may see, pe see people uh, bar it like this. Okay, either one is acceptable. Next we have the B minor chord. Okay, this is a little bit of a challenging chord shape. I'm barring everything on the second fret from the A string to the high E string. So this is an A rooted uh, bar chord. My third finger is on the fourth fret of the D string, pinky beneath that, and my middle finger here on the third fret of the B string. So far we have A, I jump over to B minor. Then we're gonna take this shape here and bring it up one whole step. Okay, that's a C sharp minor. And then finally, we have a D major chord, which I'm sure most of you know. My first finger is here on the second fret of the G string, middle finger, second fret, high E string, third, uh, third finger, third fret of the B string, strumming from the uh, D string or the A string down. Okay, so one more time, A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major. Okay, so, okay, so that section with the words can sound like this. Knowing many in Lebanon. Okay, for this section, I'm simplifying my strumming pattern, just going down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up to the D major chord, same thing. Down, 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 up. That strumming pattern is going to carry over now to the third part of the verse, which will sound like this. Okay, so we just cruised up the E major scale. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, but in chordal form. With a half measure on each of those chords. It's gonna sound like this with the words. Here we go. Bearing sorrow, having fun. Okay, so finally we can move on to our first chorus. It's gonna sound like this. But back home you'll always run to sweet Melissa. And then from there, we're just repeating everything that we're seeing in the beginning parts of these verses. Okay, so for the chorus, we're gonna have a C major chord. But to add fullness, I, like, I prefer to throw in a low G to that chord. So it's an inversion, a C major with a G in the bass. My third finger needs to come up to the G note here on the third fret of the E string. My pinky will then take the root C, and then I have this really big, full C major chord. Next, we're gonna go over to a B major chord, and convention probably tell us to play a bar chord like this, everything barring on the second fret with like kind of like an A major chord shape up one whole step. That's my middle finger on the fourth fret of the D, third finger beneath that, and my pinky below that. These are all on the fourth fret. But I like the way it sounds when I have my open strings ringing out with it. So I won't bar a thing, I'll just strum from the A string down. And then we'll return back to the E major chord to repeat the chords from our intro. All right, the chorus is gonna sound like this. But back home you'll always run to sweet Melissa. Okay, so now you have your intro, your verse, and your chorus down. We're ready to move on to the climax of the tune. This is the bridge section. It's gonna sound like this with our E major chord starting it off. Again, the morning comes. Again, he's on the run. Sunbeams shining through his hair, appearing not to have a care. So pick up your gear and gypsy roll. Okay, so that's a pretty simple chord progression. We're gonna need the E major chord. A D major chord. A major chord. Take that up one whole step, we have that B major chord. Then a really nice change to the C sharp minor. Pick up your gear and gypsy roll on. It's so my A major chord. Then finally, we're gonna kind of cliffhang the progression up one whole step back to that B chord. Roll on. 
Then I'm just gonna add in one little movement to imitate what the lead guitar is doing. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so there I was on that B major chord. The progression is kind of just hanging in the air there. Then my pinky's gonna go down to the fourth fret of the high E string. One little strum down, then I'm going up to the fifth fret with that pinky. So far we have. Give it one extra strum before bringing it back to the fourth fret. So far we have. Then one more strum before going to the second fret of the high E string. One more strum after that, and then open string. Okay, so we have four, five, five, four, four, two, two, zero, before going back into our last verse. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson. I'd love to hear if you have any recommendations for future songs that I could teach here on the channel. You can leave those down below in the comments section. I got plenty more videos already on the way, so keep checking back and please subscribe. I'm Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.